What's up, everybody? My name is Ron Empire, and welcome to my channel. Welcome back, everybody. Today, we're going to take a look at a game called Dragon Eclipse. Dragon Eclipse is a brand new rogue light deck builder with unique auto battler mechanics. And I got this game uh, from the developer and publisher. Uh, actually, uh, the, the publisher is Awakened Realms, and the developer is Far Dust. So let me read to you the um, description off of the Steam page. Choose your tamer and fight dangerous creatures with your companions, powerful mistlings. Travel the mysterious world of Dragon Eclipse. Catch and train mistlings to put together your own team. Build a strong deck and create efficient synergies of three mistlings to fight your enemies. Now, this game just came out about two weeks ago, uh, June 24th, 2024, and it is in early access. And they just got a new um, content update. The game just got its first content update, Shadow Realm, introducing new mechanics, enemies, and a boss. So I've not played this yet, but I have seen the screenshots and the video. Kind of reminds me a little of Pokemon and Digitamer, right? The whole go around and uh, tame your own dragons or creatures to become uh, your companions to fight for you. So off the bat, it does feel like it's a uh, catch them all kind of vibe, right? But yeah, let's uh, jump in and uh, see how the game goes. The Elder. All tamers regroup. Digi tamers. Umbra is upon us. Defend the village at all cost. Okay, so we'll um, we'll do the tutorial. Hold on, I'm coming. Since I have not played this yet. And I don't know what this is. Berries? Or leaves? Blueberries, maybe? And then I don't know what this is. It's probably coins. Looks like coins. Alright, let's go ahead and click on the... Hold on, I'm coming. Play the tutorial. Right. What am I supposed to do here? Is there a voiceover? No voiceover, right? There's no quest or or information on what I should be doing. I mean, it should be straightforward, right? We've got, what, three guys? And, uh... Game description says we have to form a team of three, so this must be our three. Doesn't look like there is a turn-based um, order thing, like in Goblin Stone, where it tells you who's going next. I have what looks like it's three mana, and these are probably three mana. And then what is this? Attack a random enemy. Done selected enemy. And what do we have here? Apply one vulnerable to front enemy. Receive once. Revive once per battle. Okay, so that's his talent. His special perk. Or trait. Gain additional power equal to the number of cards in your hand. Okay, apply one strength to the front misteling. Might be self. Activation. Attack a random enemy with 50% power. Can I click on this to activate? No. Attack a random enemy with 50% power. What is this? A when hurt, add blind anger card to your hand. Okay, so if this is an attack, and I have two, three mana, and this cost two mana. Can I apply it? I can apply it to anyone, right? Okay, let's... So if I apply it to him, is that an activation? And, uh, is he gonna attack... for 13... points? He's got five points, right? Is he gonna attack for 18? 18 plus one, two, three, four? I don't know, we'll find out. So how much left? It went down five points. 
Uh, was there a deck? This is a discard. I think it was a discard. It just says attack. So he lost. He lost five. The the boss lost five points, and we attacked. Forced him into attack, and his attack power is four. Equal to the number of cards in my hand. Well, the, I had one, two, three, four, right? Unless he starts off with less. Unless he starts off with zero, and that five was originally the number. Yeah, okay, okay. He might be zero attack. Um, apply a shield. Wait, I only have one point left, right? Activate a missling. Apply vulnerable to front enemy. What does vulnerable do? Let's say. What's this one do? Attacks a random enemy. All right, well, let's go ahead and activate this guy so he can attack. 50% power, right? And he took an extra two. He must have got some damage removal. With oh, oh no, with 50% power. So that means half of two is one. Okay. All right, well, let's do this. This is free. Okay, so he is going down in two. So basically, he's got zero attack. And the number that was there was probably based on the, the cards that was in my hand. So I had five to start. I, I used the first card. It removed five. Okay, it's fair enough. So if I pass this, the boss will probably attack me, right? I didn't get attacked. Oh, the boss must have buffed himself. Something happened. Is there a log? Would be nice if I'm in a log. Alright, well. Let's see here. This will force somebody to attack. For five points, he's going down to four. I have one point left. Fly shield, attack three times with 50% power, wound one, wound self for one uh, type of damage that ignores shields. And this guy says, attack a random monster with 50% power when hurt at blind anger card to your hand. Okay. I don't know, he's gonna attack me though. For eight. Let's just apply the shields. Shields up, Captain. I don't know if he attacks the front row or not. That's the other thing. Hang on. It may tell us. It could be anybody. It could be everybody. Deal eight damage to all mislings. Oh, it's, it is everybody. What is this? Revive. Instantly revive this creature with 3% of its max health after fainting. Increase, decrease status value by one after each revive. Okay. So. Let's apply our shields. To. The dragon. I got nothing else, right? They all did something too, right? He definitely went down. Okay, so these cards basically are things that we can manually do. This means they both attack. It looks like. Okay, that tells you who, the, who they're attacking, right? Okay. That's three points to stun the enemy. Well, let's stun the enemy, right? Is 
Is he stunned? He might be immune to stun. Oh, Jesus, fuck! <laughs> oh my god, I should have read that first. to that. I really no take backs, right? Would have helped if I read that first. I'm an idiot. Oh, he died. Somehow I get the feeling I'm not supposed to win. That health is really high. Yeah, I don't think I'm supposed to win. Attack three times with 30% power, wound self for one. That actually is the best attack. I think that's all we got. He's gonna attack for 12. Attack three times, and wound self for one. Oh, you know what? I should have done vulnerable. Should have done vulnerable. I think that attacks everybody, right? Alright, he comes back to life. Activate him. When this creature takes any any kind of damage from any source, it takes additional damage equal to vulnerable value. Oh, not that much, actually. Decreased value status. Yeah, that's not that much. That's like, oh, that was a waste. This will get him to survive, right? They will survive at least once. No, shit. I should have applied it twice for the front, front guy. I didn't pay attention to who he was going to attack. Kill him. Vulnerable is terrible, right? 16 points? I don't think I'm gonna survive that. I guess I can survive that. I don't think I can survive this next one unless I can magically get by. I probably could have gotten it if I didn't waste my three points stunning him. I have one point left. Shit. I think I could have gotten him, right? Hey, you're finally awake. Continue. 
need to think about trying that again. I might be able to win that. You fought bravely, and thanks to you, we were able to repel that monster. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, I guess I did win. Sort of. But it will be back. We need brave tamers like you, like yourself to protect our, our village. Your journey is about to start. Be careful out there. These are truly perilous times. The eclipse is almost upon us. Did I... Was that, it says that was a demo. And I didn't... Uh, the tutorial must be broken or something. I didn't actually get a tutorial. I mean, I just figured it out based on whatever is on the screen, right? I'm wondering if there was a tutorial, if the, the developers flipped it. Your journey is about to start. Be careful out there. These are truly per perilous times. The eclipse is almost upon us. Okay. The dragon guardians are no more. It is up to the tamers and their mislings to protect our world. Okay. To become a true tamer, you must master the bond with your mislings. Okay. Let's go back to the basics and refresh your memory. Okay. Play cards to command your missling and defeat enemies. Gee, we figured that part out already. Um, okay. I think that first one we were meant to lose. I don't know, but it looks like if you actually did know how to play, you could have probably gotten it down. Okay. Activate a missling, right? Attack a random enemy with 50% power. Yeah, I'm going to go with this guy. Every missling has one unique trait and one unique ability. Talents usually trigger in special circumstances during combat, like taking damage or knocking out an enemy. Okay. Activation abilities are triggered automatically every time when the round ends or with the use of cards. Read all about your missling in its tooltip. Hover your mouse over missling to access it. Yeah, we already figured that out. Okay, this is going to hit somebody. That guy in the front. That guy in the front. It's simple enough. Activate a missling. One point, right? And then attack the money for two. One, right? Attack a random one. Okay. What about this guy? Front row enemy. Alright, let's do this guy. Playing card requires energy if you're unable to play any card cards and your round. End your round to regain energy and draw cards. Okay. Now we got a zero, right? That means he he applied it to the first guy. He will do random. Attack a random enemy with Missling with city power. Oh I, oh, I selected him instead. Meant to have that guy, but... Fine, too. Fine. Enemies and mislings will not stand idle. After you end your round, they will attack each other automatically. Enemies display their intentions above their heads. Hover to see more details. At the end of each round, all enemies will follow through with their intentions one by one from right to left. Oh. If, so that's from right to left. We wouldn't have known that on the first round. If they plan to attack, make sure to boister targeted missling with some shields. Defeat all enemies to win the battle. At the end of each round, missling stand in the front rightmost position will attack automatically. Other mislings will use their activation abilities. So everything is its going from right to left. Okay. Okay. 
pass a random, right? With his 50% power. This just forces them to attack anybody, right? Right? The front? I think he just attacks the front. He's, they, they did say from left to right. Right, I think, right? Uh, attack three times. And wound self. Attack three times with 50% power and wound self for one. We'll get new cards. Remove from the deck. Do I choose? Uh, do I choose? I don't think I choose, right? It's just random. It uses anybody randomly. Yeah. Or it's going in, in order left to right. Kind of weird, right? Okay, one last thing. You can also really rearrange your missling during combat by clicking and drag. Oh, that would have helped. <laughs> by clicking and dragging them onto desired positions. Remember that positioning defines which missling will use their activation abilities and which one will attack. That's all for now. Finish the fight on your own. We are counting on you. If I can change it, right? For the right click? How do I change it? Oh. I see. Okay. Two points, right? And then two points. Attack. I think I should have done that first because I would have gotten more damage off of him. Kind of a mistake. Left to right. Left to right, left to right. And then right to left. Attack three times. Easily right. Great job. Continue. You're extremely talented, but I think that extra help won't hurt. Okay. Take one with you. A final gift from me to our fearless tamer. I choose. <laughs> I choose you, yeah, very um, Pokemon-ish. Uh, who is this? Galarexus. Are stoic and lofty, ignoring the outside world as they don't need to feed. If anything disrupts their meditation piece, they will try to quickly destroy such a an obstacle. Okay. I choose. <laughs> Bays are friendly and adorable. They like to splash, shadow water, stroll, and beaches on their short legs and dive together with creatures, despite their looks and... F okay, not... Uh, FaZe can be trained to fight. Mm, princess. Uh, small and silent, prowlers, stock wars, hunt tiny animals, gather berries and nuts. Ooh, gather berries and nuts. Their cozy nests are well hidden in tree hollows, where they sleep during the daytime. Okay. Well, it would be nice if I got some combat information. I'll take the one with the berries. And he flies. That does not help me, though. I don't know what their abilities are. Okay, the world is going mad outside of our village. The upcoming eclipse is blurring the border between our world and the dark plane. Okay. Evil creatures invade our world through dark portals. You have to stop them. Okay. I really like the art. This is great. The graphics is nice. Like, beautiful, like, inside the, the combat screen. Use the knowledge you gain to stop the Eclipse. You are our only hope. Sounds good. Welcome to the world of Dragon Eclipse. WASD to move your tamer along the path. You can also travel by clicking on the path using the left mouse button. You can talk to people and interact with objects in the village by pressing E or interacting on the other 
on the objects or a person's name. Don't be shy. The elder is waiting for you near the portal. Talk to him when you're ready. Oh, cool. This is this is like a Pokemon with deck building. Right. Oh, cool. I can walk around. Oh, this is neat. Press E. Brewing Cauldron. Ah, you've come just in time. Here, I've made these just for you. Okay. Random consumable. Ooh, what is this? Gain two energy. Do I take it? How do I take it? Why did? Oh, I just went back. Check out our daily special. Oh, I get the strong tea out there. Oh, okay. I have to. I guess it's a buff, right? Pass and feast well and journey afar. Nothing else I can click on. Cool. The Lomo. Go, go Lomo. To your abashment, uh, abashment you find a gl Go Lomo hitting on a rock. Hmm, Go Lomos are very spe social creatures. Maybe this one just feels lonely. That spark in uh, Go Lomo's eyes, you're certain is love. Mark may speak with the lady for a second, sure. You take the rock and add little details to it. Now it looks like a proper Go Lomo bride. Bride. I wish all the best to the young couple. Okay. We got something, but I don't know what it is. Or it was just a hello message. Cards Companion? Oh. Oh, this is like the encyclopedia, right? Currencies. Tre uh, treasure chests and battles will reward you with two basic currencies. Gold can be spent in shop on the map to buy new cards or consumables as well as in the missing care center. Care center? <laughs> yeah, a little uh, nod there. Pokemon to heal, revive, or train your mistlings. Uh, Miss berries, right? Can be spent only after battle to purchase new cards and blessings for your mistlings. They can also be used to revive fainted mislings. Blessings. Blessings are special passive abilities that can be purchased for a misling. For a misling with miss berries. Every blessing has a unique effect and a trigger. The price of blessing will increase by two for every blessing already owned by a misling. When a misling acquires four blessings, it will evolve into a more powerful form. Okay. Evolved misling will have its card upgraded. You will be able you'll also be able to choose one of the of three talents. Choose, uh, so, sorry, uh, some of those might uh, overwrite the original talent, leveling up. After each run, successful or not, you will gain experience points. Upon gathering enough, you will level up and unlock new mislings. Tamer cards and blessings. Unlock mislings and tamers can be uh, chosen before starting a new run. Uh, new cards and blessings will appear in shops during runs. Eclipse timer. Ru runs are time limited. The number of battles you can take undertake before the eclipse arrives is defined by the difficulty level when the timer reaches zero the final boss will begin okay the final boss battle begins okay they just added a new boss for the boss battle recently okay yeah i do like this this is very cool can i go down very nice uh village blessed tree odd wait what is this Yeah, we've already roughly gone through this, right? Combat basics. Yeah, we already know the combat basics. This is just basically the help file. Free room. The village is your home and base of operations. After finishing your run, you will always return to the village. You can interact with missing and villagers to learn more about them. Keep an eye on your pupils, as sometimes they will need your help with a problem. A kitchen. Before you embark your next adventure, you can order one random consumable in the kitchen. Don't worry, it's on the house. Okay. 
Alright, so I don't know what this does. This is just like a wiki. Same thing. The blessed tree. Do I talk to this chick? Hard's companion. The other one is the blessed companion. Okay. Every one of these are just basically from the encyclopedia. All right, so the only thing I do is talk to the wizard for now. Someone got a letter. Oh, I guess he's not a battle. He's not a mistling. He's just probably a tamer or something. No, he is a... He is a uh, mistling. Do I choose this guy or no? How do I assemble him? Start a battle. Gain one extra... Miss berries for every five miss berries you have can't be evolved. Okay. Is there anything else? Uh, I'm glad I'm not the I'm not on the receiving end of those little fists. Okay. Missling trainer. Train hard so we can have a chance against the eclipse. Is there a care center? I just wonder there was a care center. Ring, ring. Ice things are helpful during summer days. Keep your drinks cool. I don't know if there was a care center or something. That's alright. We need to talk to this dude. Right? You are a very talented young, uh, young tamer. Wisdom and skill will come with time. Okay. Tamer selection. Before you embark on your quest, you need to select a tamer you will control. Each one has a unique ability. Right now, you only have access to one. Oh. You will unlock the others. So I'm... that. Uh, the tamer is the guy walking around. You will unlock the others during your journey. Okay. Uh, if you feel confident in your abilities, you may choose a higher difficulty level. At the, at the moment, you only have access to one, but defeating the boss will unlock the next one. Okay. Fair enough. First card bought on the on the reward screen after each battle is free. Her name is Arcana Default. <laughs> that is her name, Arcana Default. All right. Missling selection. Uh, your team is made up of three mislings. Every missling has unique stats and abilities. It also adds a special card to your starting deck. Okay. When hurt, add Blind Anger, sure. Can I add that guy? Oh, I can choose. Wait, why is... What is the... What is the icon here? What is this guy? Start a battle game. One extra berries for every five berries you have. Can't be evolved. Okay. That's not gonna help me. I don't have any berries. Wait, I just did a right click accidentally. I take this off. Hey. Okay. Ice Link stuns. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So if I add a certain car or certain missling, they have certain set of cards, basically. Deal damage equal to the number of cards in your hand. Okay. Ling, ling. ling, ling. All right, I'll go with that. Every battle you fight brings the eclipse one day closer. When the timer reaches zero, the bat final battle will, will begin. Spend your remaining days wisely. Oh, I get to explore the world. 
easy battle. Oh, I can't go past it. I have to battle, right? Interesting. Sure. Alright. So mana, right? Two, gain two extra energy? Oh, I guess it's not global buff right now. I can use it anytime. Should I do that now? Let's try it. Oh, it's a one-time thing. I don't think it's per round. Gain additional power equal to the number of cards in your hand. Okay, let's go with this. Okay, this is... And then wound myself for one, right? Half of that is 2.5. Three times. 2.5 times three. Alright. Ning, ning, ning. And then... Attack a random enemy with 50% power? That's terrible. My strength to the front. Oh, I should have done that first, maybe. I don't know. It doesn't really matter, right? And then attack. For two points. Done selected enemy. What's this guy do? He's resting. He's stunned. Attack a random enemy with 50% power. Can I choose? I don't think I can choose, right? I think it was just random. Or it might be just him. Yeah, it might be just him. Yeah, okay, the T is a one-time deal. Okay, so they're hitting for who are you hitting me. You're the front guy, right? Just the front guy. Bling. Wait, hang on. Who's who? Front guy. Also the front guy. Six points, right? We yeah yeah yeah. Six points. Bing bing. Bing. That guy is attacking everybody. It needs to die. And then that guy is... Three points. Easy, right? Ooh, mist berries. Gold coin. I'll take it. Blessings and mist berries. Each a victory rewards you with some mist berries. Use them to acquire blessings and new cards. Blessings are similar to talents. They give your mislings additional abilities that trigger in certain situations. To acquire a blessing, first select a misling and then purchase a desired blessing below. Okay, every every next blessing assigned to one misling comes with an increasing price penalty. Stacking multiple blessings on one misling makes it more powerful but will hurt your economy. When the misling obtains four blessings, it will evolve. Evolutions are powerful. They upgrade misling stats to their cards and let you choose one new talent or activation ability. When you leave the rewards screen, you will gain one additional mistberry for each five mistberries left in your bag. 
You cannot gain more than four Mist Berries per battle this way. Interest. There's an interest. I get interest on my berries. This must be the card shop, right? If I leave, I get one berry. Knock out. Gain one miss. One miss berry. Oh. When the creature defeats... When the creature defeats other creatures. Oh. I get extra berries. Wait, do I choose this or, or no? What if I choose this? Hey. Is there a B? All enemies. Overload. Play this card as many times as the number of cards played this round. Remove the uh, the deck until the end of the battle. Yeah, but I can't really overload unless I have enough mana to even spend them, right? Attack all enemies. Discard entire hand. Activate a missling once per... Once for every discarded card. Attack all enemies. Oh, well, that's not bad if there's multiple enemies. Okay, the first one's free. Okay, the first one's free. When the creature defeats other creatures. What is freeze and buy? Oh. Bye. Nice. He's got a blessing. We get nothing, right? Okay. Interesting. You get interest. That's interesting. At the cost of your economy. That's what he was saying earlier. Okay, so we've got a... Uh, We've got a world cycle, right? Against the storm cycles. So I can pass this one. What's this? E. Click on the ch chest to open it. I'll take it. Select one card. Apply three strength, wound, sell for one. Wound selected missling for three damage and gain one energy. That's terrible. Attack with 150 cent power. Wound sell for two. How long does the strength last? Till the end of the round. Type of bit damage that ignore shield. I'm gonna take that one. Rawr. Yeah, this is actually kind of cool. I, I'm digging this. Okay, I can't pass through that, right? There is a chest in there, though. Oh, look at this. I got a shop. Air Center. Oh. That's kind of cool. What are the... My cards. Oh. I'm digging this. This is very nice, actually. It's very cool. What is Enhance? Very cool, I guess, uh, mechanic going on here. What is Enhance? Oh. Requires money. I guess healing also probably requires money too, right? Yeah, alright, I'm okay with this. I don't have any money, right? So it doesn't matter. Is 
Okay. I can redo it. I get six or seven berries. Five to seven berries. Okay, let's go with this one because it's got a chest. Okay, I probably shouldn't have used my energy point earlier. Attack three times and wound self for one damage. Attack all enemies. These guys are sleeping. The guy attacks the front. Okay. Attack all enemies, right? That's the best choice right now. Because then I get... Five times, that's five, right? But this, I apply it, I get four. No, yeah, four down plus three is seven. All right, I'm willing to do that. Random enemy by 50%. Okay. Sure, right? Sure. Nice. Well, nice would have been this guy, right? That guy was the one. He attacks everybody. Permanent life steal. Oh. Deal four damage to the last oh the last guy. My strength of self. That's crappy. Okay. And then what else? He's sleeping to gain energy. What is this one? Special ability. Heal self equal to the number of damage dealt to an enemy. We need to heal. Alright, the question is, if I don't use my points, does it... Does it always reset to three, or do I get more? I know I'm going to beat this guy next turn, but... I don't know if there's a benefit for not using your energy. Thief's mask? What is this? Oh, well, that is it. Okay. Faint. Heal other mislings for four. Fainted creatures doesn't take part in the battle until revived. Grow one time. Every time this card is played, increases value by grow count until the end of the battle. Attack two times? No. Can I choose not to take it? Okay. 
wound is the uh, selected missing for one gain one in energy. Damn. Can I choose not? I don't. I guess I could choose not to, right? Sure. The first one's free, right? Let's leave. Oh, I could just click instead of W A S D. Yeah, I don't have to actually hit the E key. Everything is mouse driven. Click on the chest to open it. Cool. Is there a way to shuffle? There is. I need to heal. Hard remover. I don't want to get new cards. How, how much is the heal? I guess heal is everything, right? Heal is probably a revive, too. Alright, well... Sure, let's go with that. Three points of damage to the front. Oh, Ugh, that was a waste, actually. That was a waste, but that was my only attack card anyways. Every time this card is played, increase its value by grow count until the end of the battle. Okay. Everything seems to be wounding themselves, which is kind of annoying. Attack a random enemy with a random missile. Three times with 50% power, wound self for one. Fly shields. Is this permanent or is it till the end of the round? Till the end of round. They're all wounding themselves. Alright, well, let's go with this guy, then. I mean, he does the most damage. Times three. Wait, does he, does he heal? They just buff each other. Instantly revive now, right? Can one miss... Miss Barry. Okay, so if he hits somebody, he gains a Miss Barry. He attacks the guy in the middle. Is strength permanent? I don't think strength is a 
at one time. Only right. And this is when this creature takes any kind of damage from any source, it takes additional damage to the vulnerable, decreased status value after each hit. He shouldn't. Well, I don't know if the shield counts. So he's currently at 7. We'll find out if it actually reduces by 2. My strength front front missling. Alright, well, go ahead. Shit, he does take damage. He does actually lose the two. Well, we can stun the enemy. Decreases value after each hit. Eight points. Yeah, that's fine. We won, right? Discard four, draw four. Activate twice and attack. Attack with hundred. Yeah, I don't want any wounding. I like that one. Every third knockout firmly increases power by one. Every fifth attack decreases the cost of random card in hand. This is actually really powerful. I think I have to go heal him. Yeah, I think it's a full heal. Alright, hang on. I believe we have a chest, right? No. I went to the top side. For the easy one. Life steal. Life steal by one. Activate. Alright. Twice and attack. Activate twice and attack. So I activate that, he applies it to himself, seven, and then he attacks. So that's what, five, six, seven, the other guy should, should go down, right? Then I apply shield to myself. And then we attack, right? He should die. Well, how is he still alive? He should have been dead. Okay. 
Firmly increase power by one every third knockout. Knockout gains berries. Who are you attacking? You're the front guy. You're the back guy. And then activate Missling. Oh, he, he should have been the one that does the knockout, but fail. Okay. We're fine, right? So yeah, the one, the three is always resets. The one is lost if we don't spend it. He's gonna do the front guy again. Also the front guy. Okay. Alright, so that is not doing a whole lot, right? Does anyone benefit from from this? So why? What was that? Uh, health below half, gain one wraith. Permanently guarded becomes exposed instead of guarded. Permanently guarded becomes exposed instead of guarded. Every fourth round, increase the damage. Received by 100% for one turn. Health below half gain one wraith. Firmly guarded becomes exposed instead of guarded. Every fourth round increases damage increases. Received by 100. That's bad, right? He should die next turn before he does anything. Nope. He attacks first. I wonder who takes initiative. I guess it's left. It's right to left. I think that's the attack order. Right to left. When an incoming attack is fully blocked, draw one. When hurt, draw one. Oh. What is that plus four? Oh, plus four means the increase in value. Right. When hurt, draw one. That's probably a good synergy. Yeah. Activate all missilings. 
Activate a mislink four times. Faint. This mislink afterwards. Faint, fainted creature doesn't take part in battle until revived. I don't want that. So that's like a one-time deal. Triggers missing the activation abilities. Wither. Every time this card is played, decreases value by wither count until end of the battle. Okay. This is better, actually. I'll take it. It's interesting, the the uh, economy thing. You get increase in berries. There's a chest and there's a heal in there too. I should probably take that and see. Whoa, this is a lot harder. Apply Wrath to front enemy. I don't know what Wrath means though. Unless they got in the front, right? Let's see here. Okay, so this is actually not bad. If I apply the trigger. Hmm. I wish there was a counter on this. Oh, there is a counter. It's like zero, right? Unless that is the counter for... No, I need a counter for the knockout, right? I don't know what that counter below it is. Alright, so if I activate all of them, I lose one. This guy is the best choice. If I damage myself, he drops down to four. But... It will go up by three. Seven to all. Versus eight to all. Okay. This is going to take out the last guy. Nope. Jesus. Heal front enemy. Oh my god, that last guy's a healer. He does nine points of damage. Too bad I can't choose. This is bad.
You killed the front guy, right? Okay. Activate a missling. Nice, good, 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 good. Oh my god, that was so good. He's not gonna get healed. That's all I got. Okay. He does nine points of damage. Activate twice and attack. Uh oh. It doesn't do anything. I only have one point left. Damn it. Shields up or what's this? Okay. Only have one point, right? That's a bad idea. That is the the knockout counter. It's not the every third. So once that hit hits three, I go up by one. For he's not doing anything, he's just resting. Beast mask, right? Grow one every time this card is played, increase its value by one count until the end of battle. Discard three attack. That's a freebie. Attack with power equal to shields. That's not bad though, right? Every time this card is played, increase its value by uh, increase its value by grow count till the end of the battle. This is free though. I kind of need the energy. I'm really having energy problems. Yeah, let's try this. Okay, every second activation applies one strength to missling head uh, to missling ahead every fifth attack decrease cost of a random card in hand no let's pass we're gonna need heals I guess I take all, right? He 
healing totem. Is it free? Oh, it's one heal only. Shit, it's one free heal. What is this? Heal five health of selected missing. Can I do it now? Might be only in the battle. It's enhanced too. Well, healing may be better. Mm. I don't know if that's a good idea though. Maybe enhanced would have been better. Yeah. I need to increase his damage permanently. Apply three strength, wound self for one. And then I attack something. Nice, nice. Nice, he got that little buff there, right? One more, and then he's gonna power up. Oh my god. Nice. Oh my god. I think he powered up. Wait, grow one time and attack one time. I don't have the power. Doesn't matter. Nice. You should die next turn. Victory. That was kind of costly, though. Every time second activation apply strength to the missling ahead. When attacked, apply vulnerable to front enemy. Attack draw two cards. Grow one grow one, apply one strength. Every time this card is played, increases value by grow count until the end of the battle. Increases power until the end of the round. It's free, right? I'd rather take free cards. When attacked, one by one vulnerable to front enemy. Even when it doesn't lose health. Oh, you know what? It's actually really good for, for this guy, right? Okay. Ooh, there's a chest here. Nice. Give me money. Oh, that's kind of weak sauce. What is over here? Something over there. 
There's chest and food over there. This is like a three star difficulty. There is a heel totem on the other side. We should be able to take care of that one. Three points, three points. Okay, when you get hit. When hurt, draw one card. Um, every time this card is played, it increases value, right? Throw one up on strength. Grow one, uh, gain energy. Grow one, attack one time. Apply three strength, wound cell for one. Gain vulnerable every turn. Activate all missling and grow. Attack one time. Okay. I think that's it, right? I don't want to fly that right now. That loses damage. Bad idea. I should attack. He's my best fighter. Now I got one point. But he doesn't do anything though. Nine points, right? Activate, activate, and and uh, attack twice. Nice. What is this one? Start of the round, gain three shields. Oh, very nice, actually. Start of the round, gain three shields. And this guy. There we go. I'm okay with that. Exhaust. Double shields removed from the deck until, until uh, the end of the battle after playing. Defends. Shields defend, defends health from incoming attack until the next round. Okay. Attack with po with power equal to shields. That's terrible. We get double shields, right? No, I don't want any of this.
I need to think about using my health thingy. I know there's a chest over here somewhere earlier. It's a two star though. Or a two skull fight. What is this? I don't know what that is. That might be useful. What's this do? Activate and apply twice. Activate twice and attack. Okay. He's gonna power up. Let's do health below half gain one permanent multi strike. He okay, he's gonna get six, seven, eight, and he's gonna attack one. So that's like what eight points of damage. Take six points of damage. Or three, right? Three. Yeah. And then what else? Tax all enemies. Nice if he attacked that guy. Is it right? Can't do anything else. This attacks the guy in the back. Six, seven, eight. What does this do? Drag missling with lowest health to the front. Doesn't matter to me. What does this do? Apply 6 vulnerable to enemy that gets defeated. I think that triggered. I don't, well, I don't know. That guy in the front needs to die. Grow one time and attack. One time apply strength. This attacks everyone for two. Deal self damage itself. He's going to die. A 
that's it, right? Hopefully he dies. No, well, he won't die first, though. Everyone's gonna take two damage. Okay, fine. Let's see, overload, right? I don't care about overload. Play this card as many times as the number of cards played this round. When this creature takes any kind of damage from, from any source, it takes additional damage equal to apply one vulnerable. Why would I play that multiple times? Oh, I can vul- oh, I can make somebody vulnerable multiple times. Draw a card and reduce its energy cost to zero until it's played or discarded. Draw a card and reduce its energy cost to zero until it's played or discarded. App applies 20 shields. Oh, that's really nice. Sure, I might take that. I guess I'll take it, right? Start of the battle, gain two shields for every blessing after this one. Wait, after this one. Every 10th card drawn, reduce its cost by one until end of round. Well, the only guy that will benefit from this is this, right? Start of battle, gain two shields for every blessing after this one. After this one. That should have been the first one. Great tenth card drawn. Reduce its card. Cost by one until end of round. Red ink pen? Oh. This might be useful. So now he'll gain something, right? You know, let's buy this. When attacked, heal one health the missling behind. Oh. Interesting. When attacked, heal the miss. This is interesting. Upgrading this thing's card. Choose a new trait. Revive twice per battle. I should have done... I should have applied that to something else then because... I could have gotten more blessings after that. I guess the guy could make a good tank. Revive twice per battle. Start of the battle. Gain one per minute. Multi-strike. Start of the battle, gain one permanent multi-strike. You can attack multiple times. Alright, let's try that. Let's see here. Let's go. We don't have any more money. Oh. Interesting. Give me money. 
not a whole lot, is it? Not a whole lot. I need a discount. Seventy five to heal another one, right? The guy in the back has more damage now. I need more berries to evolve. Oh, there's a coin shiny there. Is that something I can click on, or is that part of the artwork? I think that just might be part of the artwork. Yeah, I see a little coin shiny there, but I don't know if that's like a... Th no, I think it's just part of the artwork. What is this? I feel like I shouldn't be doing these hard battles. Increase the amount of attacks for each multi-strike counter permanently. I think that's a permit only for the run. But I don't know. What happens? Heal the, the, the guy behind me, right? Holy shit, they're all attacking him. Ten. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Activated missing. Throw one time. And then attack. I should have done that first, actually. That was a mistake. Wow. What is that number two? What is that number two on him? I guess a six. Well, he gets multi-strike, right? Increase the amount of tax for each multi-strike counter permanently. I think that's his... Right, okay. The guy's in the front. The guy's in the back. Game rate. I six shields. Free, right? Attack all enemies. I should have done. Oh my god. I could have killed that guy. That was a mistake. Five in the back. 
front, four in the front. That's it, right? I should have switched it. Because then that guy would have gotten his heals. Alright, so this is actually very fun. I am I am really enjoying this. This is very, very nice. Awesome, the guy in the back heals. These combos are amazing. strength. Oh, I can't do the shields anymore, but that's okay. Activated miss missling. Nice. You're just one point, one point, right? Then you die, right? You die. But you'll come back to life. What? How am I... How am I getting... Oh yeah, he came back to life. That's why he got the six. Okay, what is this? Always target the last enemy when attacking. Ooh. Reviving this missling after battle costs zero berries. Instantly revive this creature with 50% of his max health after fainting. Decrease status value by 1 after each revive. Instantly revive this creature with 50% of its max health after fainting. Decrease status value by 1 after each revive. That's the reviving ability, right? When attacked, gain three strength. Always target the last enemy when attacking. Ne a next played card will be triggered two times. Activate a missling. Wound self for one. Activate a missling. But I don't want to do that. Next card played will be triggered two times. I don't care about that. Alright, so always target the last enemy. Okay with us. When attacked, gain three strength. Attack a random enemy with fifty percent power. I should have had this on that guy because then he could have all he'll always attack the last one. It's fixed. There's no randomness to it. Oh I should have had this on this guy. Because then you actually know who's getting attacked. Free in hands. Nice. Okay. Free in hands. And my Groot 
The last guy is like Groot. My tree. Groot. I am Groot. I am Groot. Does a lot of damage. So I've got what three battles left to go. I think I kind of screwed this up. Activate and attack twice. Oh, oh. He didn't get the last one in. Apply shields. Row two times. Activate a missling. Apply shields. Okay. Wait, what's the other guy's ability? Oh, vulnerable, right? Oh, what? Oh, he didn't. Oh. He didn't die. Uh, do a random attack. Nice. I should have probably had him, right? Because he would have gained his knockout. That was a mistake. Row one, gain one. Exhaust. Attack one, right? He attacks the last guy. This guy is drag missling with the lowest health to the front row. Fly vulnerable to the guy in the front. He heals the guy in the back, right? When attacked, heal one health of the missling behind you. Fortunately, there's no one behind him. He's gonna die, but he's gonna come back, so I'm not worried about that. What's this do? Apply 
apply and grow grow one apply strength um, attack all enemies yeah Activate all enemies, right? He's gonna hit him t twice. Easy peasy. <laughs> Getting better! This is good, right? I'm digging this. Start of the battle. Uh, ins reduce next incoming attack by three. After attack, apply two vulnerable to attacked enemy. Every fifth activation reduces energy cost of random cards in your hand. No. I don't want to wound myself. I don't want to wound myself. Wither, activate a missling three times. Interesting. No, no, I shouldn't spend anything. Because I want to build up my my money. I don't want to heal right away, right? I can do a battle. Is there anything I can... Is there a good one? Because there's only one day left. Yeah, there's only like one day left. There's a really super hard one over there, but... That light bulb might be a good thing. Elite battle. Sure. Let's try this. this is elite battle. Oh my god. He's gonna attack the guy in the front, right? Activate all misslings. And apply shields. Yeah, activate all misling and apply shields. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, activate all misling and apply shields. Attack once, right? Heals the guy behind me, right? Heal one health of the missing behind you. Apply three strength and self damage for one. I don't know if I want to do that. Apply six shields. Nice. Hey, he's attacking everybody for- oh god. For eight, right? Grow one, apply strength. Attack first. Wait, hang on. Grow one by strength. And 
and then apply the shields. That's 10 points. Oh shit! What the hell? Gain one wraith. Increases damage received by 100% for one turn. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, dear lord, this is bad. Okay. This is really bad. What's this do? Prepare a strong attack. Attack. Activate twice and attack, right. Hang on, is that what I want to do? We're stunning an enemy. So he won't prepare anything. Attacks two times, wound self for one. Okay, now I've got zero points. Good god, I hope that guy really does any something good here. Now he's applying his buff again. Thank God. He's applying his buff again. Oh man. Okay, so attack eight times. Attack all enemies, that's the same. Activate a missling. Then attack. This doesn't do anything. Oh, it reduces my car's attack ability. Oh, dear lord. He kills my guy, right? He kills my guy. He instantly kills my guy, right? I don't think he has another... I don't think he can come back again. Oh dear lord. Grow and apply two strength. Activate and apply twice, right? Attack two times and wound self for one. Oh god. He's going to die. There's nothing I can do about it. Oh shit. You gain experience points during your adventure. When you gain enough, you will level up and unlock new tamers. Misslings, cards, and more. Okay. I got defeated. Hardcore. Do I take it or no? It's automatic. Share my feedback. So no, this is really good. I actually enjoyed this. This was super, super fun. I failed though. What is this? 
apply 12 shields to select a miscellaneous. Defends health from incoming damage. Yeah, alright. That's all I can do, right? So I can't do anything else. Missing headquarters. Okay. Oh, the run doesn't permanently change it. They only evolve during the run. Unless... Unless failing... Unless failing... Cause me to completely wipe. Unless failing. Basically, everything is reset. As if I never did the battle. As if I never did the adventure. I mean, I got something, though, right? It's, it's rogue light. I got something. I think it's like my cards collection. I got something. I earned a card. It, un it unlocked something. I don't know what that means. It's not my deck, though, right? Yeah, this is not my deck. Brew? Brew? Oh, that got moved around. That's it, I can't do anything else. I think I have to win at least one missed battle first. Yeah, I have to win one missed battle first. Since I failed, I don't get anything, right? Let me see here. It doesn't show me the my cards. Well, I don't know if I progressed. That's the hard part to figure out here. I don't know if I progressed. High score for everybody. All right. Well, this was really fun. I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. Too bad I lost that battle. Um. And if everything is exactly the same. I might just reset the whole thing and do it again. I mean, there was a slight progress, right? Because I got, I got some card, and I can't tell if that last card was added to my collection or if it's a new card that's available in the reroll of some sort. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, I really enjoyed this game. I highly recommend it. Dragon Eclipse, right? It was really fun. Alright, thank you so much, and I will catch you guys next time. Don't forget to wishlist this game, or buy it. It is uh, available right now, and it's only $13. I will catch you guys next time.